Hey all you AC3 fans out there, this is my Stealth Liberation Fort St. Matthew walkthrough. This fort, St. Matthew, is one we're going to attack, stealth. Uh, there's a lot of cougars in this area, so I always like to start off with enticing a cougar, as this is a good way to get your challenge completed of watching a cougar kill. There's also guards around the fort, so you may want to be stealth in your approach. Also, try and get up in the trees if you can. Um, I always look for tree mounts or entryways into the trees. And here you can see we've got a guard watching a cliff. And this is an ideal place to watch your cougar kill if you can get your cougar over to the cliff side. Here I kind of move over and try and entice a cougar into the area and there's our cougar come on boy come and get some food and you gotta reach over here you'll see the cougar notice his prey and attack <laughs> that should get you your trophy um, and now on to the good part Try and stay above the tree line, and you can see another guard, and you can also do a jump attack. Stealth assassin kill right here. And we're going to move down the cliff. And you'll notice Connor's got some great cliff climbing skills. Uh, you just have to find the right place to where you can start climbing. Uh, you can see another guard here on the left. If you stay below him, you can kill him easily. Sorry, dude. Alright. Uh, you'll see this tree to your right. You want to stay above it. Hitting X as you go up will keep you high and dry. You don't want to be seen here. Uh, once you reach this rooftop, you want to take a right and jump into that bale of hay. And you'll see the guard who is in his motions. Once he returns to your position, you can go ahead and assassinate him stealthily. Again, this is a stealth attack, so we don't want to cause too many notices. And you can use your whistle to bring him closer to you. And see you later. Uh, you'll notice the rooftop straight ahead of you. Uh, go for that. And once you get on top of that roof, you want to stay in a stealth position. And also, you'll need poison darts for this. Uh, you can buy those at any trading post. And you want to make sure you have a good stash of these in case you miss. Our target is lit in the red, and now he's got yellow above him. That's the captain. Yeah, we want to kill him with our poison dart without being noticed. So go ahead and aim and shoot your dart. And he doesn't go down right away. It gets kind of woozy. So we can kind of look at him here. And he's drawing the attention of his guards. Oh, I'm not feeling so well. Hmm, wonder what's going on. Oh, I think I'm going to die. And that should leave the powder kegs open which is this building here go ahead and interact with that and set the powder kegs to ignite and you want to get out of the way right away so head for that bale of hay that we first hit when we came in go ahead and jump in there and wait for this thing to go boom should draw the attention of most of the guards. Again, we don't want to get caught up with too many guards or else we could be here fighting all day. So you want to stay hidden while they check out the scene. Now this is kind of stupid how 20 guys are wondering what the hell just happened here? But one happens over your way. Go ahead and take him out. And 
That'll leave you with one guard above, so go for him. And you can stealth attack him as well. Now, if for some reason you do get caught and you need to escape quickly, go ahead and jump on this roof. Head across the roofs here. And you should be able to escape them by jumping into this grove here. And duck it. So, Connor's pretty good at ev evading enemies. You just hide in these groves and wait until the all clear is given. Our next objective is to lower the flag in order to liberate. So we'll just wait patiently while these guys pass. And then you can go for it. And then what we're going to do is make another run back the way we came. Back up this building. And nobody should see you if you do this right. And the flag is directly ahead. And it won't activate unless you are stealth. So go ahead and hit interact. And we have liberated Fort St. Matthew. This is the typical cutscene you'll see when you liberate most forts as you raise the new American flag. And you'll see the red coats on their way out of the city. I want to thank you for watching and do subscribe. I hope this was helpful and look for more to come soon.